we just watched a video of the book this rabbit belongs to Emily Brown and now we're gonna draw a rabbit okay you just need a piece of paper and a pencil right now okay or it's really easy we're just gonna go with a half circle for the top of the head then a half circle for the cheeks one cheek two cheeks It has a little bit of, ooh, right there. Then for the nose, we're going to go with a little triangle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then the mouth. And if you want to, we can put our little teethers in, our little bunny teeth. One line down, one other line down, then one across, and then one down the middle. All right? And then we're going to do eyes. We need eyes. So we're going to go across there. Across there. If you want a sleeping bunny, that's the way to do it. Okay. Now let's open its eyes and go one big arch over. Another big arch over. And now whenever my rabbit gets scared, her eyes get really wide. Looks like they're bulging out. Now the pupils, another pupil, and let's put a little sparkle in our eye, a little highlight, okay, and then let's color that in nicely, all right, slow and steady wins the race. If you're using a marker, Make sure you go nice and slow. If you do it fast, it's not very good. But we do this slowly, and it colors in so nicely. Okay. All right. Boom, 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 boom. get any little white spots you can go in and close those up all right now what does he need oh some ears let's put some ears down and and another one over here and there we go and let's make those a little wider by putting the side of his ears on I don't know why I decided this is a boy bunny. All right, now we'll get some whiskers. Do we know why rabbits need whiskers? They need whiskers to help them know if they can go into a small burrow like a uh, little rabbit house. They can fit into it. Okay. All right. So that's it. Then you can add color with crayons or markers or or colored pencils, or even paint, if it's okay with your parents. Um, ask your grown-up. I use crayons. I didn't scribble, scrabble. Try to stay in the lines as much as possible. I did have a couple of oops, oopses here, and that's why I made sure to get a little bit darker around the edge to um, really hide any imperfections I could. Okay, so I used this coloring because I have a Dutch bunny named Skittles and that's what she looks like she looks like she has a, a white spot she has she has a black coloring with a white stripe down her middle of her face um, so this is uh, similar to my rabbit Skittles when you're finished take a good picture of it and uh, follow the link in Google Classroom to Art Sonia and turn it in and that's it for this week. Yay. Have a great day. Bye-bye.